Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. My name is Quaffles and today we're going to be looking at a dual XP farm. So we're looking at a skeleton and spider XP farm. These two are just spawners that happen to be next to each other. I'll include the seed on the screen if you want to use this or if you have one in your own world that you're looking to build a farm with, you can use this one. So we're going to go ahead and get started with showing you guys the efficiency of the farm so you know what you're dealing with. So let's go ahead and get into game mode zero and we will go ahead and kill these guys just so you can see how many will spawn in once I've killed them all. And uh, obviously you can make the drop bigger if you need to, but uh, honestly I'm okay with uh, them dying in a few hits because if you have mending on your sword it really doesn't matter. So we're going to go ahead and walk away from there and start killing some spiders. And you can see they drown if you don't kill them. So we're going to go ahead and sit here while these um, skeletons decide to respawn. So. Um, as you can see, this is pretty much a constant flow of spiders, and the cool thing about this is their items just kind of flow on. You don't have to pick them up. Um, the XP will come up to you eventually, and it just kind of flows into a chain of hoppers that starts right here. Um, so yeah, you can see that skeletons are already starting to fall back up there, and we're just going to go ahead and wait for some more spiders. Um, sometimes they do get a little stuck, but eventually they do unclog themselves. Um, you can see right here, this is where they are all spawning in and pushing each other into a hole and then these guys are just a regular spawning farm so yeah that's pretty much the efficiency of the farm you can see that this guy right here has uh, been blocking the way so he's uh, finally moved there so we can kill him and more will come down so you can see that this many spiders have spawned in about 30, 30 seconds to 45 seconds so it's a decent spawn rate um, for both of these so let's go ahead into game mode 3 and this is how I'm going to show you guys how to build the farm. Um, so you're going li to want to listen to what I'm going to say. Um, so this spider room, this OG spider room, I kept it the same dimensions except for on this side. Um, so actually you should take a look at this. The spider, the, the farms are like this. So they're kind of like diagonal towards each other. Um, so I filled this wall in by one so you can see um, the cobbles. So, so these walls are kind of like the same they share a wall so that's how that should look um, and then they're just going to push each other down a little tube like this so you go all the way across you block the water off go two back like that and it should form uh, a little two by two section here and then you go down another two by two and then you just kind of continue it on down this way and they flow down here and you can just kind of stick an a set of iron bars above them and they should all just flow right to there and you can see he'll start to drown um, so that's it for the spider farm I'm gonna go ahead and kind of show you a different view from the side so you can see what you're going to be building um, so this is that from the underside and yeah that's this spider room you're also gonna wanna have this up here and this window is optional so moving on to the skeleton part of this you're gonna wanna block right here above the XP farm above the uh, spawner and then um, you're going to want the room to go 8 this way, and then it drops down. Um, these can be 8 long, they can be this long, whatever, it doesn't matter. And then all the skeletons flow into this tube all the way up 21 blocks to here, and then all the way to here and down into the middle of the room. And then next for the hopper and the storage system, which I didn't show you, but it does have one. Um, it's optional to build, so you can pretty much kill these guys, and everything will flow all the way down these steps. You can see the spider one is right there as well, and they will flow down to here, and you can see that all the drops get collected, and I figured instead of an item sorter, why not just put string and uh, just fill the chest with one, and then the only items that can go in there are the items that you want to go in there, um, and then all the other ones just get stuck in the uh, hoppers unless you fill those up as well but uh, yeah it doesn't really matter either way um, but that's going to conclude this tutorial I believe so I hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you leave a like on the video if this video helped make sure you leave a like and I will catch you guys in the next one take care and bye bye